Hey guys, I just pulled up to the bins here in Houston. I am so excited to go in and see what I can find this Monday afternoon. I got off work early, so I have approximately one hour to find some dope finds. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera in just yet because I do know that they have like a film policy and I haven't been here in a while and I haven't spoken to them and seen like, you know, what the deal is. And also it's kind of hectic in there and I really don't want my camera <laughs> to break while I'm digging through the bins. So I'm gonna hold off and I will hopefully be able to use my phone to kind of get some footage so you guys can get a feel for what the bins are like. But before I head in, I just wanna show you my bins essentials and basically what that is is hand sanitizer and a mask COVID a little list of things that people are on the lookout for just in case you know it's something that I typically like wouldn't pick up um you don't know, have it all written down so you know if I'm second guessing an item and I know somebody really wants it I'll go ahead and get it and then I also bring a shoulder bag for my phone and my wallet um, just to keep them really accessible and keep them from like falling in a bin or getting you know crushed like from my pocket because sometimes you like lean over the edge um, and then lastly this is so good I actually learned it from my reseller friends here at the bins my I don't know what you would call them anyway um, <laughs> An Ikea bag, oh my gosh, it is so crucial to have an Ikea bag at the bins. Basically, how I use it is I put it over my arm and just kind of grab stuff in the bins. And then I can then bring it over my cart and kind of go through after, you know, the new bins are kind of not so new anymore. Anyway, let's go get started and see what we can find. We're running out of time. Okay, I just walked out of the bins. I spent exactly an hour in there. I got 16 pounds of stuff and I spent $40. I'll show you real quickly what 16 pounds of items look like. This, it all fits in my Ikea bag and it's really heavy. I need to go and get it in my car and get home. I am starving, but I can't wait to unpack it and show you guys what all I found. All right, so first off, we have this beautiful hand-knitted vintage Afghan rainbow, colorful, funky, 70s, ugh, oh, just, what a find, I love it. I would have picked this up at the outlet, at a regular store, anywhere, just because it's so unique. Next up, I found this denim baby doll dress. I am envisioning this on myself with my new pair of cowboy boots that I finally broke down and bought retail. I've been manifesting a pair of cowboy boots at Goodwill literally since moving here almost a year ago. Um, as most of you know, maybe don't, I live in Texas, so literally I feel like cowboy boots are essential. So I've been looking for a pair of secondhand forever. I did find my boyfriend a pair, um, so that's super cool, but have not been lucky enough to find a pair for myself, so they were on sale and I snagged them. Then we can go into what I also found. This little funky swim cover up has sparrows on the bottom. I love picking up funky, unique things from the bins. I don't necessarily look at brands as much of the bins because I'm picking up things for less so I can sell them for less and you know, it's not as brand heavy. Oh, this little crochet number, it's like a crochet, I think, Maybe it could be a swim cover up or, you know, wear it with a slip under, however you want to wear it. Ooh, knit. Knit is super, super in this season, this summer 2021, spring 2021. It's this Zara long knit maxi. It's striped, navy, I think it's a size small. It's really in like new condition. Um, there is a small snag at the very bottom, I remember noting. But then, you know, just kind of coming to the decision to go ahead and get it, just because there's no stains or really flaws anywhere else. 
So another dress I got was this little Madewell number, just a striped little classic preppy Madewell t-shirt dress. It has pockets, which we all love, and buttons down the back, little sailor style. Oh, another striped little number was this romper, super cute, ruffled edges. Um, oh, and it has pockets, how fun, I didn't even notice that. But honestly, whenever I find dresses at Goodwill or any thrift store, I'm always checking to see if they have pockets because I feel like that's a big selling point is just dresses with pockets. So then we have this beautiful tie-dye maxi. It's so cute. Um, it's so fun that like one of my first sales on my Instagram was a very similar dress. I remember selling it to my friend Caroline um, and I'm really excited I've found another. It brings back little, little memories of when I first started my page back in June. So that's really cool. Then, ooh, we have one more dress. This, another knit dress. It's, I believe it was made in Italy. Really cute, sweet, um, little mini knit dress. So then we'll go into the tops. I found this, a gray wrap bodysuit. Bodysuits always do so well for me because they're just such versatile clothing. Um, you know, you can wear them with a skirt, shorts, whatever however you want to style it. Um, then, oh, a little bubble sleeve, black top. Black is always really hard to photograph just because you can never really get like the ribbing or like the details unless it has like embroidery or something like that. Um, but whenever I'm at the bins, I'm more inclined to pick up those staples because even though they don't photograph as well, I can sell them at a lower price. So it's still worth picking up. Um, I found these vintage joggers. I think that that's so cool. They're Bugle Boy. I really love Bugle Boy. Um, I like putting it on my Instagram or on Depop and then if it doesn't sell, I'll end up taking it to a vintage store in town just to kind of get the pieces off my hands. Um, and they tend to buy things at a pretty good cost. I still will make a bit of money from the bids and maybe I'll end up doing an episode where I go to the bins and I find like vintage item, items and then I take it to a consignment store and see how much I can make from that. So then, ooh, Western. I mean, like I said, we're in Texas, so I always gotta pick up Western. Um, just this black Western top. Again, black doesn't show up very good on the camera, but it has really cool buttons on it um, and it feels like silk. Then I found a vintage Wranglers button up. I love this. It's oh, like, it'll just look so good in the summer as like a beach cover up or with like denim shorts and a crop top. Oh, there's just so many ways to style men's buttons up, button ups as a girl. But also I, I mean, like I said in my last video, like whoever wants to wear it can wear it. Um, oh, I love Scarce's tops. And this vintage number is so cool. Like just envision it as a top. It just looks like one of those Pinterest girls and I'm very excited about this one. Oh, and then have this, another scarf. I feel like this one is probably not as likely to be able to be a top, maybe, but it's a little bit shorter and I feel like it would probably work better as like a neck scarf, backpack scarf, hair scarf, whatever. Just probably not as a top. Then I found two sweatshirts, both are new with tags. I mean, like, it's so crazy, like finding so many things at the thrift store, brand new with tags, nobody's worn them. It's just this white sweatshirt from H&M, but honestly, really quality, super soft, and I mean, it retailed at, I mean, we don't know. Somebody literally, like what they cut off was the price. So anyway, that's cool. Then I found this NASA sweatshirt has little rockets on the side. I think that this is also really cool seeing that we're in Houston and the, you know, that the city has all the NASA stuff. So right close to home. Then I found this, this looks reworked. Like somebody did this themselves. They turned a pair of army pants into a skirt. And I just think that this is the coolest thing. It does look 
really tiny like it's for like a size zero or something so I'm kind of sad because I can't really model this one but I know that it'll look super cute on somebody this summer oh I always love finding t-shirts at the bins because they just are so funky and fun this little sun rooster t-shirt I thought that that was so fun I picked it up somebody will look so good in that with a flannel or a denim shirt something like that then I picked up Lululemon. I actually found three pieces of Lululemon, but I only picked up one, and that's because the other two were like ripped to shreds. Like one had like a knee, a rip in the knee, and one had like the shoulder completely ripped off. And I mean, like it's just not worth it. Like I love picking up Lululemon, but like stuff like that will not sell. So the little emblem, iconic. I saw that in the bin, and I was like, yes. Just some little like windbreaker kind of joggers. Um, not really sure the name. I don't know all of Lululemon's names. They're really confusing with the line, the seamless, the tight, I don't know. I'll try to reverse Google search it to find it. Then I found this, this is a name brand piece. This is an Ugg sweater, like an Ugg cardigan. And super cute, big like pockets. A little sad that I found this when it's almost May, but um, I mean, who doesn't wear sweaters even when it's warm outside? Like, it's 70 degrees outside, but it's a little chilly in my house, so I'm gonna throw on this comfy sweater. So that was what all I found at the bins. I'm super excited to get it all posted, and I am so glad you joined me to watch this today. Thanks again, and I hope you like and subscribe and follow my Instagram curated by Natalie for all these finds to be posted for sale. Thanks. Bye.